Create a Batarang, and we're gonna get started with that today. Hey guys, welcome back to my Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at the Batarang that I want to create today. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and delete Default Cube. I'm sorry, Default Cube, once again. We never use him anymore. We gotta find a use for Default Cube sometime soon. I'm gonna hit Shift A to add in a plane. Hit one on my numpad to go into the front facing view and we're going to go ahead and just hit RX90 on my numpad here. Um, now what I want to do is we're going to use this plane to model the battering but I want to have a, uh, a reference to pull from. So I found this beautiful image uh, of a battering on the internet. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A here to add in a image background. I'm gonna, just going to select our uh, image which is this bad boy right here. I'm going to load that up in. Uh, and now we have this nice background image, which, as you can see, if I can move this out the way, is a Batarang, which uh, I believe I got from uh, GameStop's website. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and just uh, uh, grab this plane and hit, I'm going to right click, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit Z on my keyboard, then go to wireframe. Uh, now we can see what's going on behind there. So hit S to scale this plane down, and we're just going to kind of go off of this. It's, it's not exactly centered, but that's totally fine. We'll deal with what we got. It's just a rough guideline. So I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode. I'm going to split this in half by going to loop cut and then just pulling a loop cut right down the center, splitting that in half. And then I'm going to go back to our select tool here, hit B. I'm sorry, select one of these vertices, hit B to box select, select both of those two, delete vertices. Now we only have the other half, uh, the half which is what we need. So hit tab to go out of edit mode, go to the modifiers tab, and we're going to add in a mirror modifier so we don't have to repeat everything we've done twice, uh, which is uh, a mirror right there. So now it's everything we do on this side will be done on that side as well. So. Now we got all that set up, I'm going to go ahead and grab, grab this vertice, which is the bottom most vertice. Hit G, Z to move this straight down, and we'll just go ahead and pull that down there for the tip of the battering. And then we'll move this piece up, both of these hold on shift, and we'll move both these up. Hit G, Z to move upwards, uh, which is nice. And then we'll go ahead and grab this guy, this vertice, hit G, move that guy up there, and then we'll select both of these. So with this one still selected, hold down shift, grab that vertice, right click, subdivide and we'll do it one more time uh, but we'll grab this one first so hit uh, select that G move and I'm just gonna select all of these again hit uh, right click subdivide and we'll just kind of well see that's not what you're supposed to do there we go that's what we can, we can go if that happens this it's created another face right here if that happens just go to uh, line mode and then just delete uh, edges there we go so now that's 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 fine now all right so as you can see when I did that it actually got rid of uh, I'm in solid viewport shading right now, and I got rid of everything inside of here, which is not good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo that because we shouldn't have held down all of that right there. So we'll, we'll, we'll subdivide this one. So let's undo all of that because I said sub subdivide that and it did that. Undo that. We're going to go ahead and grab this, these two vertices, subdivide that separately. Then we'll grab these two, subdivide that separately. Now, you can see we have uh, more vertices here to work with, but you can see that uh, they've also kind of intersected the giant big plane that we have down here. And it's not very good to have these vertices not actually connect to anything down here. So we're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, grab this vertice right here. Hit delete. We're going to delete that vertice. Uh, now, we have the ability to grab this one up, up here, up top. And I'm going to go ahead and hit E to extrude that and pull it straight on down down to about right there good doesn't have to be perfectly straight it's totally fine uh, we'll go ahead and grab the hold down shift and grab these this one and this one so that's all of those and now what we're going to do with these is we're going to try and create planes for every single one of these vertices so we'll grab this this vertice right here the second one hit e to extrude pull all the way down right e, grab this, the next one e to extrude pull all the way down and now you can see we're creating these planes for everything. We're going to fill these in in a second. Hit E to extrude. Pull that one down as well. So there we go. I'm going to turn. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move off of the front facing view by just middle mouse dragging. Uh, so we can see what's going on with these a little bit better. Because, I mean, there's black down here. Um, so with every single one of these, we're going to go ahead and fill these in by selecting this one. This vertice. And then scrolling on down here. And then hold down shift and grab all of those. Once we have all those four, we're going to hit F to create a face, and now we have a face for the uh, for the batter right here. So we're going to do this with the, same, uh, with the same four again. So this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we'll keep moving down the chain until we have all of them down. Hold down Shift to select more than one vertice, and we'll grab this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Perfect. Now, we got all that set up. We hit 1 to go back into our uh, front-facing view here. You can see we're a little bit off-center here, but that doesn't matter. Like I said, it's just a rough guideline. We're going to follow this edge, and then this side will be kind of off-center from this one because this picture's not in the center, so don't worry about that. 
Uh, all right, so I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna move around these. Uh, move a couple around. A couple of these vertices around is what I'm trying to say. I can't speak today, guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and just move that over. Hit G to move, of course, as always. Oh, and th if that happens, we're gonna also turn on clipping. So make sure on mirror uh, clipping is enabled, and then we can just push them together like that, and then they won't. Uh, we won't have problems. There we go. So just push them together. Uh, all right, perfect. Looking good. So we're looking good so far. I want to go ahead and do the same thing down here. I want to move these around because uh, some of them are too close to each other, some of them too far away. Hit G to move always. Um, just move these around a little bit so you get them where you need them to be. Looking pretty good. All right. So now we got to go ahead and extend this all the way around here. Now what we can do is we can just go ahead and grab a uh, another vertice here. So we'll just go ahead and uh, select these two these two vertices, the, the outermost ones. Uh, right click, subdivide, and then we'll just grab this guy, move him over here. Now you can see, once again, we have this same exact problem of uh, the battering, you know, having this this edge where there's no line here. So what I'm going to actually do is we're going to actually go ahead and pull all this. We're going to actually uh, hold down hold down shift, select all of these, and then hold down shift, select all of these vertices here, and this guy too as well. Uh, right click subdivide that actually we're, we're gonna undo this vertice first we're gonna get rid of this vertice we just created this one we just did so we're gonna uh, uh, hit delete and then limit to dissolve now we're gonna do the same thing we just did hold down uh, hit B and then drag down uh, to select everything right so now what we're gonna do is I want to go ahead and actually subdivide this but if we subdivide it's gonna subdivide all these lines too so instead of subdividing a great thing to do is kinda just to pull this up and extrude it so hit B to box select all this stuff down here G Y to move it up like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, E to extrude this back down and then Z to move it down the Z axis so now we have uh, this line up here which does not need to be curved like this so we'll select all these vertices by hitting B to box select them once again hit S Z and then hit zero so now we have a straight straight line which is really nice but that's what we need we're just gonna move that up hit Z to move it up straight um, something like that. You can see these aren't uh, exactly in line, but that's fine because I need them to look good where they are instead of being totally straight. Because if they were like totally straight, they would look like this and like this, and that's not that's not exactly what I want. I want them to be a little bit more curved. Actually, this looks pretty good. When I when I tested this off camera, it didn't look very good straight, but we might do it straight. We'll do it as straight as possible. All right, there we go. That was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Eh, maybe it needs to be curved in a little bit. Uh, hit G to move them over. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Looks good. All right. So now we can continue with this wing over here because we have the ability to extrude from this angle over here. So now we can do this a couple different ways, but what I'm going to do to make this easiest is just go to edge select mode and then grab this edge right here. And now you can see if we hit E, we can extrude it out, right? And I'm kind of going to go ahead and follow the top edge up here. We'll, we'll fix the bottom later on. So we'll go ahead and hit E to extrude this over and over again. Just every couple segments we'll just... Um, stop extruding and we'll just pull it over that section is too big but it's fine we can fix it later and we'll just go up like this follow it upwards now you can see we're gonna have st we're gonna start having some problems here but that's fine we can go ahead and just go down to the bottom go back to vertice select mode and then just grab this guy pull him over we'll just kinda uh, fix these up now we can go back to wireframe mode by hitting Z and go to any wireframe or you can do it up here at the top a lot of people ask me where these are uh, they're up here at the top. You can just change the viewport shading to rendered material solid or um, uh, wireframe. There is no textured mode anymore. A lot of people ask me, where's textured mode? There's no textured mode anymore. They got rid of it in 2.8. I know it's really super freaky for uh, old uh, Blender users who might not use it in a while. They're just coming back and they're like, where's textured mode? There is no texture mode no more. Um, but yeah, so we're going to hit G to move these all up here. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm kind of off center here a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little easier. I don't know, it might be on mobile or something, just taking a look at this real quick. Go ahead and just move that in. And uh, we're going to be back in the second part here. I'm going to break it, uh, and we'll be back in the second part. We'll continue modeling our battle ring. We did some pretty good process progress on this so far. It looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed the first part. Make sure you stick around for the second part. It'll be at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, but I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.